some fun today and uh, I picked up a free Spanish English Espanol Inglés really this is a really good I mean it's really full you know really you know everything in here is a really good book free to add. and we stopped at the uh, sweat lodge um, uh, um, like some other places, uh, uh, there's a little street heading downhill uh, towards the beach, so we went down there. Dal uh, was getting something, uh, or the food little food store. But uh, then we had a, a little thrift store, uh, you know, street market thing. And I made friends with Hector, uh, went in the back and asked him if he had a pot. And, uh, but I told him because he said, I live in Nouveau. And I said, well, I think it's New Abo. New Abo. And I sang it a little bit. It's new. Uh, Avo, new wave. It's a new wave, and I describe it. It's a new wave. And then I sang a little more uh, with the song Golden. Actually, I sang almost all the words to it. It's a really short song. Uh, and um, I said, "You're on. Uh, you're on. We're on the new wave, oh." And it's really beautiful. And I said to him. Um, and it's really just uh, freedom, truth, beauty, love, um, uh, maybe two, two other words there, it's trying to give seven words for it. And uh, it's all is, it's of the, all it is, that's it. It's all is, that's, that's it. And you, uh, that was really nice. Um, fun thing to do there uh, with him and he really got it he, and so he uh, I told him I'll, s I'll send you something uh, here's my address and uh, he let me type it in on his phone uh, and then he saw this golden because I said the song is golden and that uh, picture with the guitar on the beach with people all around the guitar is this picture I have that's the image on the front of the song Golden that I recorded with the guitar. It's the only version of that with the accompaniment. Uh, and I'm just thinking about the beach because I was asked him for, uh, if, well, he told me, do you play golf? Because he wanted to sell me whatever he could. But he wasn't pushy. He was really, you know, yes, very, uh, you know, good. And um, so he had a little golf club. And uh, I thought, well, I, afterwards I said, yeah, I can go out on the beach. And he says, well, yeah, a lot of people go out there. Or Val said that, uh, you know, and, and fiddle, battle. And, <laughs> and uh, it's a huge sand trap. Or a big sand trap, you know, you get sucked in and into the golf game and then you can't get out, you know, <laughs> I'm just joking uh, because it's not, you know, I'm not like that about it. But um, I can teach someone how to play it in five minutes. And I realized when I said that, what the real sen sense of it was I was teaching this man the whole thing in five minutes. And that's what happened. That's about it, I guess. Um, and it's like, uh, you know, just like now, almost everything just stopped almost. At least in me, it did. My mind just, you know. Okay. It goes, <laughs> it's gone. That's a really interesting and, and real good place to be. You know, a lot of people think I'm not listening to them when I stare off in space like that. But I'm really actually really listening, maybe you could say. That's the real listening. And so um, 
Hector said that he, oh, I know this place you could play. He, he actually put the song on, or I did. I think he did. He said, oh, that's my song, you know. And he started playing and heard me play. And I, he said, yeah, that sounds real pretty good, uh, or whatever word he used, you know. Um, and uh, so Val and I, uh, we took a drive and went down the beach uh, road. Um, I'm very grateful that Val is a very careful driver. And uh, it was very, uh, um, there were a lot of windy angled turns and uh, fast drivers and uh, at least some. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, um, uh, El Mexico taxi driver was excelente. And the views and everything was really beautiful to see some of the uh, unusual things that are on the road and in the building. Someone was building an arch kind of a, a structure. It, is, it was a flat arch, what do you call it? It wasn't really an overhead arch. It was a horizontal arch with with arches in it. Yeah, and there's um, evidently there's a place that has statues of gargoyles and demons and uh, well, whatever, whatever <laughs> that we didn't see. Um, and uh, there was also a, a pyramid, right? It was a pyramid shaped uh, temple like? Or something I don't know what it was. It was actually that was an, a, a development place. Um, so we went to this cafe that he goes to, uh, and uh, we didn't do anything there. We would talk with them. They have music there that could be done, and then they have a sweat lodge in the back. And Val told me a, a story of, about a man who was a shaman. At, at this uh, sweat lodge area, and uh, but something happened to him, and he got burned by the fire. Was he stepped on three nails. What? He stepped on three nails and got infected. His blood got infected. Oh, he, he stepped on the three nails. He went blind. And he went blind, so he couldn't heal anybody <clears throat> after that, which is very interesting. You know, you got to be careful with all of these uh, tools. And, that's uh, one of the things I also learned about. See, when we left Hector's uh, thrift store, I left my bag behind. And uh, when we get rushed and stuff, or not necessarily rushed, but you know, it's in different environments sometimes. Uh, so mistakes and things can happen. and. Uh, by the sweat lodge, I stepped in some water that had been uh, muddy, cemented almost. It was still liquid because they were working there, and the, the, we're at the hose. So I wasn't watching where I was walking. It's no problem. You just wipe it off with the with the water that they had running uh, out of the spout. So uh, no problem. But uh, there's a lesson for me there about, you could say, the lessons are all around, and the references and relations are everywhere. Uh, it's fun watching them and looking for them, and but uh, it helps to not get uh, taken away by the references, so that we don't see what's really there or what 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 is real. Such as you know, I was busy and I left my bag, and I knew. The bag was perfectly safe there, so when we left and, and somewhere down the road, no panic. Um, that was another one where we get panicked by and uh, lose our confidence, and then uh, that starts to cause real problems, and we don't succeed at what we're doing. So that's another passage. Uh, anything else, Val? Uh, you know, everything's a passage. You're going through the tunnel, <laughs> trying to get to the to be on or to stay on the real side, we'll say. And uh, being in the tunnel is um, 
It's the mm-hmm. natural human experience. Or no, I, I, that's not exactly true. Uh, I guess I back up. Actually, most people aren't even in the tunnel or recognize it. So um, the human experience isn't that at all. It's more like they think that they're on the real side of the tunnel, per se, you know, and heaven's on the other side, and when they die, they're going to go there, or some some idea like that, <laughs> um, which has no, it's all ulterior motives, and um, yeah, so forth, that presents that kind of a vision, a viewpoint, so um, that's one way of sharing it. Uh, Dennis is smiling at me with the pictures. I don't know if he is, but the Paul Twitchell is smiling at me. So I think Paul is Paul is kind of happy with me.